Next question is from Ander Beth. Is there a scenario, if any, that a vegan diet would be more beneficial for a fit and healthy individual than one that includes animal products? Okay, so generally speaking, and this is the now the studies are pretty good on this. Okay, if you're allergic, yeah. Now the studies are pretty good on this. Uh, people tend to have more nutrient deficiencies when they avoid meat. There are certain nutrients that are very difficult to find in vegan sources. Some of them, some people would say, are impossible to find. So most people do better with a mixed diet. This is also based on my own experience. I have very, very few people. I've trained people for over 20 years. There's very few people that I've seen that do better all the way vegan and very few people I've ever seen who go in the opposite direction. Most of my clients always did best health-wise, being able to maintain it, performance, fat loss, muscle building, you name it, with a kind of omnivore type diet. Now, I did have some clients, not a lot, um, but there's only a couple I can think of right now that did, did better vegan. Um, one of them was, you know, that really stands out was a, a doctor that I trained. He's a great guy, super smart dude. Um, he did a lot of endurance type sport, hired me to, to build some of his strength. And he did one of those, uh, those, those donation trips, those doctors without borders where he donates his services. And sometimes those, those, the, it takes you to weird places and you got to live differently and live among people or whatever. And he, he had to live in a community that ate, uh, mostly vegetable foods, and so he inadvertently became vegan. And when he came back, he's like, man, I never felt better. I have more energy, this and that. Now, he, granted, he was eating healthy before. He, ate, he just, It wasn't like he went from bad to eating healthy. He went from omnivore to vegan. I didn't believe him. Um, at this time, I was a little bit more of a zealot. So we threw meat back in. Sure enough, he started getting more negative symptoms, took it out, and he felt amazing. And uh, so I told him, well, you got to listen to your body. I think there's always an individual variance. You're always going to find people that do better eating one way versus another. But generally speaking, most people, in my experience, do better with a blend. And I think, too, to, to say healthy or healthy like that, it's not fair, right? Because somebody could have an intolerance to something, right, and that, and be still considered healthy. It doesn't make you unhealthy. Right. But that, it's, but constantly hitting that intolerance, getting your immune response, right, right. that's unhealthy. And so that, but that's just it, though. Like, there's a lot of people out there, like, a question like that is, you're like, hey, if, if, all things are equal and, and people are exactly healthy, then yeah, most of the research is going to point somebody into a more balanced diet. Mm -hmm. But what we don't know, because we're finding out more and more, especially about the gut, that a lot of people have all these intolerances and issues going on that it could be red meat. I have had clients like that. I've had clients that, you know, we just cut red meat out, but then they could have chicken and fish and everything else like that. And, we, and they did phenomenal. So it's, it's rarely ever uh, either or, and I hate that we try and do that, right? Why do we have to like make it into a, mm. you know, either you're in this camp or you're in that camp. It's like, you know, figure out what foods agree with you and don't agree with you. And if you can find a way that, that there are certain meats that do serve you and other ones don't, well, cut out the ones that don't serve you and keep the ones that That's do right. serve you in. It's hard because- uh, Versus saying that you have to go- all vegan because red meat doesn't well, agree right. with you. Yeah, didn't you eat eggs and figure out that it was really the egg whites that you had the biggest problem with? Yeah, right? yeah. They, I mean, these guys make fun of me, but you know, when we make breakfast, I'll make like a huge sunny side up, uh, you know, like eight eggs in a pan, and I'll cut. They'll see what'll be left over will be circles cut out of the egg whites where I'm cutting out the yolks. I I identified for me that egg whites, I have an intolerance to them. When I eat a lot of them, I start to get skin rashes. My digestion is off. Um, but egg yolks are fine. Now you and should, egg yolks you are should great. explain to people why that. Like we talked the other day about gut permeability and the theory. What I mean, I would think, and I'd like to hear you. It's your own body, right? What do you think is why egg whites is yours? Well, I ate a lot of eggs growing up. Eggs are a great uh, source of protein and nutrients and cholesterol and choline, all phenomenal for muscle building. So growing up, I would just eat a shit ton. Of, I mean, I used to eat. I would eat a dozen eggs in the morning, no problem. Right, throw them into shakes. And the problem is, is I had other eating practices that caused inflammation in my body. So my gut was kind of probably constantly inflamed. Well, when your gut's inflamed, the the protein you know particles travel through the gut when they're not supposed to. Your body recognizes these particles as foreign invaders because it doesn't belong there. It's supposed to travel through the, the lower intestines or other parts of the body. And so you mount an immune response. So what ended up happening is I would eat eggs all the time, and all of a sudden I'd eat eggs and I'd get digestive issues or I'd 
get rashes. Couldn't I didn't connect the two for a long time yeah. um, until eventually I cut them out and noticed, oh wow, I feel much better. And then I thought it was all eggs. And then I, I read a, an article that talked about how when people have a food allergy or food intolerance, it's often the white and not the yolk. The mm -hmm. yolk uh, doesn't have anti. So the white has antibodies in it. This is why they think there's more intolerances to egg whites to protect the yolk. So cutting them out, I feel great. Well, I just, look, you guys have watched the show Naked and Afraid, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you watch the show, I mean, there's been vegans on there. There's been different, like, vegetarians and people have problems with meat. Inevitably, the ones that last, you know, towards the end, they end up eating, you know, a piece of meat because their body, like, is almost revolting mm. against them. And so it's just hard for me to, to see, you know, thriving on just a plant-based diet uh, you know, given that circumstances now in the new world, we can get away with that because yeah. of the way we process things and the way that we, you know, present it to where our body can digest it better. But, you know, like given the fact that you're in nature, you have two options. I just don't see you thriving. No, no, you can't. And, and again, because we live in the modern world, there's, you can go to the grocery store and you can have access to an incredible variety of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, and they can complement each other and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's up to you. You know, it's up to Definitely. your body. Um, there's a huge individual variance, and and I understand uh, that this can be hard for some people. Our food is our identity. You know, I mean, the whole cultures around food. We're very proud of food. So you know, I'm a vegan. You know, or I'm I only eat keto, and it's like it becomes your religion. Mm -hmm. That's silly. Here's the other thing. Your body may work well eating a particular way now. Doesn't mean it's going to work like that forever. Context changes, stress changes. You may develop an intolerance. You may develop bacterial, you know, imbalances that make eating and digesting the foods you eat now um, a problem. So be open-minded. Listen to your body. At the end of the day, I think that's the best uh, advice that we could give.